Enterprise Lanes. And if you guys have never heard of the term of the Greater Ozark Open, I'm sure a lot of you have. I'm sure a lot of you have bowled it. It starts from about March to about June, and it's a singles, doubles, and team tournament, just like your Nationals is. And uh, it's a really big tournament in the Midwest. So if you're around the Midwest area, around Missouri in general, look up the Greater Ozarks Tournament. It's a phenomenal tournament. Okay, so. Second event of the season, uh, a little different, uh, a lot of different things actually. One being the pattern or the, the lane machine we're using. Last week was a USB-C tournament. We used Kegel machines. Uh, this is now a PBA tournament. Last week was not technically owned by the PBA. In PBA tournaments, we use Brunswick machines. The difference between the two is Kegel machines have the ability to, for, to oil forward and backwards. Brunswick machines only have the ability to, for, to oil forward. Um, to the public eye, that may not be a big difference, but to like professionals, we can definitely tell the difference in the way the pattern transitions and plays. So 34 feet, that's shorter than any, any pattern we bowled on last week. It's the shortest pattern we bowled on, period. Basically a lot of urethane, a lot of gutter shots. A lot of straight guys love these kind of patterns. Except for this one specifically, there seems to be a little bit of a... Uh, see, I don't know what they call it on the actual graph, but when you throw a shot, you can kind of see the ball skid down lane, and then it kind of keeps skidding. That's what we like to call a speed bump or tight down lane or whatever. Um, this pattern has that. And whenever you get that tightness down lane, basically you don't want to hit the down lane portion. So the way these are gonna play is everyone's gonna throw urethane, and then as we move left, our angles get farther and farther to the right. We wanna avoid that down lane. Down lane on this pattern is never good. So it'll be pretty much straight with urethane, and then as we move left, the angles get really open, and we'll be sending it to the gutter. People love this pattern, so the uh, scores are gonna be pretty high unless something really tricky is going on. But for the most part, the scores are gonna be high. What's going on with you? Uh, so, hurt my wrist at the US Open last week. Um, yeah, lame. very lame, just old. Um, but Doc said I can't hurt it any worse, so we're out here trying, we're bandaged up. And what happened, you dislocated your wrist a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, that's what the doc said, is it was like a minor dislocation, and she reset it and was like, hey, you can't make it any worse as long as you don't punch nothing or stop abruptly at the line like I did. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna be chill this week and not be punching people. So now, the, like we said, the Prather soft hand is getting even softer oh, this it's, week. Oh, it's extra soft. <laughs> it's extra. It, it feels like Feathered I'm doing and nothing. Lethal. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like uh, my rev rate's cutting about half, so. Hey, one short, that could be good. Yeah, except for the fact of throwing a urethane ball where you try to bang on it all that the time. That is true, there is that. So, that's why I'm playing six, like six to five, and everyone else is like nine to two. So, you know, you just gotta play with what you got. And what I got right now is the, the extra baby soft hand. So, we're gonna work with that and see if we can make a cut. <laughs> Nova looking all right. I was actually thinking like, man, my my Absolute and my Nova, they're both pinned down, they're both close to each other. I probably don't need the Nova. Then I threw that shot. Do you it's think, like, eh, do you think the Nova, Nova actually there. looks good? Or do you think you just have so much confidence in that ball that you just throw it amazing? Well, I just think I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Didn't that think about that. Look at it. <laughs> Do it. They go in. It does the thing. It does it. 
one attribute from any other PBA player's game all time. Mm. What are you taking? Attribute. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I want a little more physical ability. Okay. Like, that'd be very useful. Um, so I don't have to think as much. Maybe like, hmm. Does it have to be like a specific thing? It could be anything. Oh, Mental gosh. game, physical game. I think I want like a Praetor esque versatility range. Versatility like Praetor? Yeah, then I don't feel like I have to think as much. So it lets my mind free up and I can just see it and do it. I know, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, it's, it's a tough one for me because <laughs> I don't feel like I'm as physically gifted as a lot of other guys, so I gotta think a lot harder when I have to do it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vers a little more versatility. Would be good. If you can take one attribute from another PBA player's game from all time, who are you take? What are you taking? I don't know. Um, probably Earl Anthony's accuracy. Ooh, yeah. we're going old school. Yeah. Okay. Gotta think I like that one it. through. Alright, Stu, you can take one attribute from another player's PBA player's game from all time. What are you taking? Uh, uh Balmo Strike Show. <laughs> I'm wondering how many times people are gonna say that. Alright, no Duke Spabble. <laughs> to take from any PBA bowlers game added to your go to be? Uh, I think Norm Duke's versatility. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. The Make clutch shoe changes? Yeah, the shoe <laughs> changes, the tape change, you know, everything. But Duke can play one, two with the best of them, and he can get in there and hook it. So I think it's Norm. The man, the myth, the legend, BJ Moore. You know, the vlog's mi missing something. <laughs> and I think I know exactly what it is. The presence. All right, we're going to ask you one attribute you can add to your game. What's it going to be from any PBA player? Um, have to go with a, a Prather swing. Nice, loose, free. Nice, loose swing? Yeah. No muscle. I feel like you're one of the guys whatever. people should say, though. Like, I'd be like, I want to bang on it like BJ. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, but that only gets you so far. So I'd rather have some touch. That gets you that Wilmington title, baby. That's what that gets you. This all right, one attribute to add to your game from any PBA player of all time. What would it be? Uh, Belmo's win percentage. <laughs> That's got to be number one, right? I mean, one. come on. That's close. <laughs> One attribute to add to your game from any PBA puller of all time. What would it be? Uh, the ability to use both hands on the left side, like that guy. <laughs> That's a good one. Grab a ball, I just drilled off the truck. I mentioned this is a PBA tournament, not a USBC tournament, meaning now, the past five years or however long, however long, the PBA has used USBC rules on their equipment and specs. And now the PBA has come up with their own rules for their equipment and specs, which I, th I think is a good thing because I don't know why USBC would want that responsibility anyway. I mean, we're all just a bunch of crybaby bowlers trying to make a living. So, like, the slightest error in equipment is a headache. 
So now, PBA has their own rules, meaning those six balls, those six storm balls that the USB-C uh, banned last year because of the softness of the cover, we can throw those. Those are within regulation of the PBA tournament. We, PBA just came out with a rule stating we can't throw urethanes that have been made prior to August 2022. So the urethanes we can throw out here are, are only urethanes that are less than five, six months old, basically. And the USBC last week, we could throw whatever urethanes we want, including, you know, old balls that technically wouldn't register as legal on the softness durometer. Um, you could basically throw whatever you want, except those six storm balls. So this week in the PBA, we can throw those storm balls, but we can't throw old urethane. In the USBC, we can throw, throw old urethane, but we can't throw those six storm balls. It's a little bit of an annoying thing. So when we change tournaments, PBA to USBC, it changes what equipment we can use and the rules we have to go by. So I didn't have a pitch black or urethane that was made after August of 2022. So I had to go drill one. And this is the only urethane that we can use. And this goes for uh, all the uh, Brunswick guys, Motive guys, and Storm guys. All urethane has to be made after August of 2022. The reason for the change in urethane is they ran a study, USBC ran a study, uh, trying to figure out why these urethanes were coming up on the durometer, which is the device that measures the hardness of a bowling ball. While they, why they were coming up soft. Well, the manufacturers aren't making them soft. The bowlers aren't purposely like putting acetone on them and making them soft, so what is it? And they just realized that as oil gets in the cover stock, it becomes softer and softer. The softer the cover stock, the earlier it rolls, the more control you have. So if you had a, a bag of soft urethanes or a bag of hard urethanes, you're gonna choose the soft ones all day. So that's why the PBA put a time limit, since no one's actually cheating, it's just kind of happening. You can't throw a urethane that's older than however many months now, five to six months. Just to try and uh, level the playing field because if you're someone out there that has a, a urethane ball that's six, seven years old and that thing can be as soft as it could possibly be, that can provide you with a little bit of an advantage. So just uh, trying to level the playing field. Brad, is that my apparel? Oh, no, that's just the pitch black. Still waiting on it. <laughs> this week it's kind of weird sometimes these patterns where you're these short patterns where you kind of throw urethane and then you just send it to the gutter can be easy what makes it hard is when there's a lot of hang this pattern has like 30 mils of oil which is a lot of oil and there's a hang spot out there so you know you need to just throw it to the gutter but then sometimes it doesn't read it that's hard <laughs> so I think you're gonna see a decent amount of gutter balls actually this week because guys are just you have to you have to be a hundred percent confident in sending it there it's gonna hook. Sometimes you're just gonna do it too well. You're just gonna send it and throw it in the gutter. So I don't know. I think they're gonna be hard. If they transition, maybe they'll soften up, but uh, I think they're gonna be a little tricky. This place can be a little tricky. A lot of lanes, low side, plays a lot different than the high side. That's my pick. I think they're gonna be hard. I think, man, I don't know. I think if you average 218, you'll make the cut. Book it. I thought when you're using both, those carry. <laughs> all right, one attribute to add to your game from any PBA player of all time, what would it be? I wish I could bowl as straight as Noel. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's like on this pattern that we're bowling on this week, 32 feet. I just want to have Norm into my body <laughs> and just, he'd strike forever out just there. Just throw right it up now. there, yeah. He would strike forever. <laughs> and I've just got that little bit too much and it's all over the place. So if I could, Norm, share with me, <laughs> enter spiritually, into me and bowl for me. <laughs> Might be the 
but is that a is that a classic ball? Uh, is it technically classic? I uh, feel like it's, it's like a it's like a half and half. It's half and half. It's like half and half. So maybe yeah. 70 30. I don't know. But I do have a nice ball down. This would be a, this would be my nice ball down. So it's a good one. Too. Good one. You got the strong one. You got the yeah. medium ball. You got the weak ball. Yeah. It's, like, it. it's like it's 1978 on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, Springfield practice day in the Books. Yes, sir. Um, not gonna lie, the whole 218 take earlier in the video when I said the score is gonna be hard. Yeah, it's probably not it. I think the score is gonna be a lot higher. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and check out the next coming videos from the Wolf. And let's see if Brad, uh, see if Brad can make a little run ski this week. I hope so. We call it the Heater McSkeeter. <laughs> and that's what we're looking for. So see y'all later.